Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Lori Candle over here, and I'm going to do some crinkle candles. I have some uh, country candle line, more of those. I have some um, one soy candle that I'm going to do a review of that I don't have the jar here, and then I have the soy blend of Gorgeous, and um, the Cranberry soy was a two wick. These are two wicks. And this one is a three wick. These are the medium sized jars. This is a larger jar. Um, also, the 14.5 ounce. Uh, I'm not sure how many ounces these ones are. At least 16, I believe. Okay, so Cranberry. I'll read the scent notes and we'll discuss it because I don't have it here. I don't know what happened to the jar um, after I melted it. So it is um, juicy orange, bright raspberry, sparkling cranberry, uh, frosted juniper, sugared pine, and sweet vanilla bean. So um, cranberry, I really like the sweetness of the of the um, ra the sorry um, cranberry, and then I didn't really get a lot of vanilla. Maybe sugared pine and juniper. I think that they really gave it a the the notes of like. The, the rosemary mixed with the cranberry. I think the throw was about a seven, seven and a half. It wasn't weak. wasn't a powerhouse. I think it was just right for the scent type. Um, and it's great. I melted it at Thanksgiving. You could do it for Christmas or whenever. If you really like rosemary type scents and cranberries, the sweet tartness, you could probably do it any time of year. It doesn't matter. It's a really good scent. Um, and I'm not huge on soy candles. Uh, and the Kringle soy candles do cool, kind of funky. Um, but they're, I think they're still really good. Um, so, you know, they're hit and miss just like any other type of wax or candle, but, um, in general, I think they're pretty good. Um, so then let us move on to blueberry maple. We have, um, blueberry, oh, blueberry maple is blueberry maple, light cream, coconut, um, cinnamon, vanilla, leotrope, liliotrope, and a uh, sandalwood. Um, so... Sometimes I just question why they put so many weird things in these bakery candles. Like so many different scents. I mean, why is there sandalwood in a blueberry candle? Um, Liliotrope in a blueberry candle. Thankfully, you don't really get the sandalwood in like fl any floral notes, really. Mostly get that strong blueberry with some, the sweetness of the maple. Those are the top notes, and that's what I really get coming through on this one. I'd say it's at least an eight. Um, and, of course, I do love paraffin jars because you get... Oops, sorry. You get this. Oils. Oh, 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 they're so good and strong. That's why I'm so mad that Goose Creek discontinued their paraffin jars. Anyway, okay, so that, that one is nice. It's got a good throw, really good blueberry scent. And then let's see what's next. We have Autumn Reflections. Okay, so Autumn Reflections, a nice label. Bridge, water reflecting. Got the sun oils, a lot of sun oils. I melted these with my candle lamp. And you can still see that much oil. Um, so, yes, Autumn Reflections, kind of a brown, sparkly-ish wax. Autumn Reflections is cinnamon, acorn, pumpkin, caramel base, vanilla, and milk. Um, this one is very interesting. It's not necessarily like a pumpkin spice candle, but you get, uh, you know, that pumpkin type scent. Some of that cinnamon a little bit. It's not a super strong cinnamon scent though. Caramel base, vanilla, milk, yeah. I get acorn and slight cinnamon or a little bit of a spice, but not super strong. Pumpkin, caramel, milk, I don't know. It's not a really strong vanilla candle. It's not a super sweet candle. Like it's sweet, but it's not like a bakery sweet. Um, Cause it has enough other things mixed in like that acorn and, and pumpkin that uh, it gives it a little slight bit of kind of a warm earthiness without being any kind of, you know, musky or sandalwoody or anything. It's definitely a unique scent to me. Because it's not specifically a pumpkin candle. It's not specifically a bakery candle. It's not specifically an outdoorsy candle. It's just kind of all of it mixed together. And it's it's really nice. I'm glad I got that one. That one was one of the ones in the fall collection I was really wanting to get. 
Um, and I'm glad I eventually did because I waited for a good sale on that one. Um, and then we have Gorgeous, which has got a really cute little label. Mmm, <sighs> smells so good. Okay, so Gorgeous is pumpkin spice, citrus, pumpkin cinnamon, um, a nut base, spice, vanilla, and I have to say, this one is is interesting because it's it smells more like a sweet gourmandy scent, um, but it's like it's not just like pumpkin spice. It's like pumpkin spice, lighter on the spice, and then kind of heavier on that vanilla with the pumpkin and the spice, and so it makes it really sweet, but smooth and almost almost nutmeggy but not really that one's really that one had a good throw eight and a half at least um yeah it had a good throw it was it smelled really good um i definitely would buy another one of those if they were on sale and then we have welcome home which is a cute pinky type mauve wax it looks more pink on my camera but in real life it's more of a muted like mauve pink it's very interesting the concept of this label and candle so welcome home is clove cinnamon bark uh spice bay leaves and sweet wood um in the picture i swear it had like candy gumdrops or something but i didn't write down any kind of candy notes but i know it has a picture it's like bay leaves and gumdrops or something anyway it's not a sweet candy scent by any means. It is very heavy on the cinnamon bark and the clove. Anything else is just back notes that's kind of, I mean, I, I don't, it's just back notes. I think it says sweet wood because of, I had the candy drums, gun drops because it says sweet wood. But um, yeah, it's not a sweet candle. Not in that kind of sense. It's not a candy candle. It is very clove cinnamon bark. And if you love clove and cinnamon, this is the candle for you. It is strong. It's at least an eight and a half. Um, yeah, but to me, I mean, this was really strong. It was a very strong candle. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like the strongest candle I've ever smelled, but it's pretty strong. Uh, I'd say yeah, eight, eight and a half for sure. Yeah, at least eight and a half, I'd bet. Um, sorry, <laughs> it's been a week since I melted it, so I got to remember... Anyway, this one is nice if you like clove and cinnamon bark. Um, if you don't, do not get that candle. You will not like it. Anyway, so that is um, these five. So four and then uh, cranberry that I couldn't find the jar um, to represent itself. But yeah, really nice. Um, I think that Kringle did a pretty good job on these. Good throw, good scent types, very diverse. And uh, I enjoyed them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully this is helpful to you. And I have another Kringle review coming up right after this. So I'll get on that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hope you guys are staying safe.